Greetings friends and welcome to GUE TV. My name is Francesco Cameli and I'm one of the GUE instructors here in Los Angeles, California. I'd like to share a tip with you today uh, that will help you trim out better. Uh, what I have noticed is that uh, a few people uh, trim out well within the standards, if you like, but struggle to get those extra few degrees and typically they're, they're head up. I, I rarely see folks that trim out close to horizontal but are head down. Um, so assuming that your buoyancy is under control and it's not actually your buoyancy that's causing you to, to change your trim to counteract being slightly um, positive, which would put you head down to stay down, or slightly negative, which would put you head up to stay up as you kick. Uh, so if all of that is in check, and in fact the understanding of how to move, straighten, or uh, bring in, bend if you like, your legs, uh, or extend or retract your arms, if that's all working for you correctly and your buoyancy is working correctly, then that's where this tip comes in. And really it's just a matter of simple physics. And what I'm going to suggest is that if you are very slightly head up and you still can't seem to find flat, and when you do, importantly, you feel like you start to keep rolling, right? So the minute somebody, you know, perhaps a colleague or a friend says, hey, this is flat and puts you in a flat position in the water column, what you find is that you feel like you want to go over head first. Um, I would suggest that that is because your tanks are too far forwards or too close to your head. Uh, and in fact, you are somewhat head heavy. What we need to do is try and rebalance this excess weight that's on your back due to your, your rig uh, and move it closer to your actual center of mass uh, or center of gravity that will allow you to balance in a nice flat position. So it seems counterintuitive that if you're head up, you want to move your tanks back. But essentially, when you're head heavy, uh, the natural reaction is to trim head up slightly so that we find a point where we can balance this mass out and we've essentially moved the center of mass or the angle of it, if you like. And so we find that, oh, well, at this kind of slant, I can be quite stable and I'm not going either way. So what we want to do is counteract that. So if we want to stay here, we move that back and now we've centered the weight on our backs a little bit more and it allows us to hang underneath our back plate and wing and stay there quite comfortably. So now if I do want to rotate up or down, uh, depending on what I'm doing in the water column, I can do so intentionally, but my relaxed state is one of nice neutral trim. Um, Something to bear in mind, however, when you do this, is that you want to make sure that at all times you're able to reach your valve. So when you start to play with this, loosen your shoulder straps by an inch and take in an inch from the crotch strap so that everything is still secured on your body and then go and try that. See how it feels. Do you feel more relaxed? Do you feel like you're not fighting your trim? Do you feel like you can level off and, and, and trim out nice and horizontal ask your friends that you're diving with, hey, how was my trim today? Was it better? Yeah, much better, or mm, about the same, or whatever. So do this in small increments, and eventually you'll find that sweet spot where, yes, you can still reach all your valves comfortably, but also you can relax underneath your rig and just naturally be nice and flat and balanced. Um, if you find that your valves become slightly more difficult to reach as you do this. That's normal and really the only thing you can do at that point is to do some stretching exercises or to just keep practicing getting to them. Uh, and I'm sure there'll be tips about how to more easily get to your valves uh, on GUE TV that you can go and check out. But today I just wanted to talk to you about trim in general. So to recap, make sure that this big mass which is your tank or tanks or rebreather that is on your back is not hindering your trim by being slightly too far one way or the other of where your center of mass actually wants to be so that you can trim out nice and effortlessly and be flat in the water uh, and do so without any effort really uh, which is going to make you enjoy your diving more it's going to put less fatigue on your back because you'll be arching less you'll be craning your neck less, you'll be not having to extend your feet too much and end up in weird and wonderful positions to try and be in trim. You can just be in our relaxed, uh, you know, flat from knees to chest, feet up, uh, relaxed and nicely in trim. 
I hope that helps. Don't forget to uh, sign up for GUE TV on YouTube if you haven't already. Check out some of the other videos, sign up to GUE TV itself, and hopefully see you again on here with some more top tips in the future. Thanks a lot.